Hey there guys, and welcome back to another episode of Kamidori. Last episode, um, Suina pretty much actually became useful in battle for once. Uh, she fused with, what's her face, uh, Lucas Lena, um, and now she has a lot of better skills. Um, like Tidal Wave, Ice Shield, uh, Frozen Blade, which is shown, I did a I did a damage check and apparently Tidal Wave and Frozen Blade are actually pretty good on her. I don't know, water base, but still. Um, I was thinking of actually putting on the Blessings, but considering the weapons I have on them, it kind of seems stupid to do that. Um, also, off camera, I gave you. I did a little tweaking of some people's stuff. Uh, remember the Eastern Moon weapon, which was Yulia's uh, sword that we had to pretty much fix? at the beginning of the game. Um, I now have an upgraded version of it called Crescent Moon, which is pretty much the same sword, but it's upgraded. Um, I'm gonna find the darn thing. Here it is, Crescent Moon. Uh, make, made using Eastern and Western techniques, and it's only for Yulia, like every other weapon here. But, um, yeah. Um, I think I'm doing pretty good with this. Um, I know there's a lot of stuff I need to finish before chapter 9 and whatever. But, um, I decided to just say screw it. Um, sadly I'm not going to be able to do the anti-angel me measures because I've tried getting all the items and it's not working for me. So, pretty much, uh, that quest will pretty much be over. I don't think, uh, I don't know. Uh, but let's see what's going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll end up messing up with the Yurichi stuff. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm now a master. Yeah, boy. I'm using that as a thumbnail, by the way. I bow reverently and accept my new wife. I'm now a master. Uh, I learned double action. I think that allows me to kind of like flurry. I think that. Let me see. Let me see that skill real quick. Um. Take two actions each turn. Yeah. Well, yes, what is it? When I... Okay, so this is completely different. <clears throat> when I had the honor of becoming an alchemist, you asked me the same question. Back then I said, I want to make people happy. I want to make people, make them smile. That kind of alchemist. こうしょうの上に立つ者としての自覚が出てきていることと思います。そのあなたはこれからどこを目指しますか？どこを目指し、どこを満足とし、どこに向かっていき、そして可能な限り一交渉として働くのか、それとも国のために働くのか。ああ
すでにあなたは。Yes. I breathe a sigh of relief and I finally leave a manor. Well, congratulations on your promotion. Whoa. I almost get knocked over when somebody suddenly grabs me. After chastising him, the girl bows politely. I find it really funny that the fact that now I'm a master.、Uh, I think after this, if I remember correctly, there is in the alchemist. There is Master, Grandmaster, and I forgot what the next one is. I don't remember. Thank you. The girl blushes shyly as I pat her head. <laughs> Girls are all so simple.、Uh, they are not. Have you seen the women I hang out with? The boy runs off and, as he teases her and she chases after him. After the children leave, my friends who are waiting in front of the manor walk up. It's a big deal. ただの交渉ではなく、ユイドラの顔になったのですね。そりゃあ、あれだけの大事業を成功させたんだもん。少々頼りない顔立ちではあるがな。You're saying that too。これからますます忙しくなるでしょう。私たちも協力しますので。Yes, thank you. I still got a lot left to do in Uidora,、uh, do that Uidora can get along with all the people around us. So I'm going, to give, I'm going to give it everything I have, so I'm counting on you. I'm counting on all of you. I banned in a few jobs. A bunch of alchemists come up to us when we enter the bar. Hey, I heard you got promoted. Congrats. <laughs> you're, just a, you're just the man I expected. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going, doing good business now, thanks to you. Come see me if you need anything. You're all idiots. We can't, we can't have expensive projects like that all the time. <sighs> That's work for the VIPs, you know. You guys are completely. <clears throat> you guys are completely useless. You should pull it together and pay back what you owe. You should keep your mouth shut and start learn. You should. <clears throat> you should keep your mouth shut and start learning from him. Maybe you should get promoted. <laughs> Maybe you'd get promoted. <laughs> I'm the one who, who's starting to have fun that you. Uh, saying that, you youngsters. The men continu continue playfully insulting each other as they leave. It really does. I'm, I'm glad it's having the, the effect I expected. Like Rosanna said, with the people who worked to clean the Lake Shisekka, it reached everybody who participated. みんなが精霊やその力について日常的に触れていればきっとそれらを大切にしてくれるでしょう。Wait, now I think about it. Um, since we have the new purifier, can't doesn't that mean people will start dumping even more? Like people will start dumping more now they know that the purifier will just clean it out anyways. Yeah, I think I can't wait to see how things are going to change. このユイドラがどんな風に成長していくのか。私も楽しみです。We all laugh and toast over the food like the old man, that the old man made for us. At the end of the night, I walk home to my workshop. I gotta think of the future while looking up at Yui Dora's night sky. I don't think I'll ever forget how everyone smiled when we finished the purifier. I wanna see everyone, I wanna see everyone smi keep smiling, so I had to work hard to make that happen. I drift off to sleep, promising myself that. And hello, new chapter. Chapter 8 Walking a Narrow Path. I'm a master now. I have to work hard so I won't shame all the experienced alchemists. I should aim for the highest rank of alchemists in the, within the guild right now. Like Ruslana said, I need to think more about devoting myself to you, Adora. Increase your rank to advance next chapter, workshop 9, store 9, evaluation. 
and there's something worrying me. We finished making a new purifier, and it feels like my work with the guild is done for now. From here on, I'll look. I'll need to look for myself to find out what I want to do as an alchemist. Can we go talk to other people to like get more places to go to, please? Laguna's workshop. I heard that Laguna got promoted to master too, so I go to see him at his workshop. Congratulations on your promotion. You've been hard at work too. He smiles confidently and is saying as always. <sighs> I'm not about to let you beat me. That reminds me, I heard that Ro uh, heard that Rosanna asked Laguna the same question when she promoted him. So you decided to work for your country now? So Lug Lug uh, so Rosanna asked you about that too. My answer was obvious. I'm an alchemist of Eudor, and I'm going to work for all the alchemists. I think it's our duty to carry Eudora when the time comes. Laguna answers quickly. Uh, quickly, knowing him, he's definitely thinking far down, far down the road. Uh, on the other hand, I'm not sure what exactly will what that will mean. Uh, but seeing the look of determination in his eyes makes me feel excited and confident about that too. I want to see more people smile. I need to think about Eudora and the entire guild if I want to make that happen. We've come a long way and it's such a short time considering such a lofty thing. I want to see more people smile. That's why I'm going far... I'm going to work for the guild and for Eudora. <laughs> I had a feeling you would, you'd say that. Let's both work hard. Yeah, I'm not going to lose to you. <sighs> I want to do more for people who are living in Eudora. I'm not going to be satisfied stopping here. I make up my mind as I leave Laguna's workshop. Okay, I'm pretty sure they're going to give me... Yep. We, we got more events. So the Thunder Dragon can promote to the next rank. Huh? Rox Roxmana looking more depressed. Roxmana's been more depressed lately. At least I think. She still sits in the corner of, the, of my workshop like always, but she's she seems more languid than usual. Roxmana? Hmm. She doesn't even react. I wonder if there's something really the matter. I start to stand up. She dimly reacts of when I start moving. I sigh reluctantly and sit back down. I was worried that because you didn't respond. Is everything okay? Which is obviously a freaking lie. The same court indifferent answer as usual. If she says so, then there's no reason to doubt her, but... Will you tell me right away if something's wrong? That's all there is to say. I'm going to annoy her if I keep pressing. I turn back to my work. Okay, so we got some more events. Sweet. Um, new recipes added. And crap, I got like a lot of stuff. Master's Hammer. The hammer showing off how far you've come. I need albina stone, and then I can make that. Uh, let's see, I can make them uh, meat. Let's see, I can upgrade from a uh, ram's dragon sword to a Mifu dragon sword. Ooh, ooh, it's pretty. Uh, we'll make that. Uh, angel's bow. I need. I gotta go kill some more angels. I'm guessing. Uh, nothing else there. Oh, we got a chilling pipe, but that was already there, so no point in really getting all excited about it. No new clothes. Uh, I don't think I really need to worry about clothes anymore, because we've already gone so far into the game to where clothes don't really matter. Um, I know this sounds weird coming from me, but I kind of stopped caring about the whole, uh, about the whole clothes thing, because... These are the only three I don't have. Um, those are the only three I don't have, and pretty much a lot of the other clothes that you've probably seen all over Google. Some of them are new game plus stuff that I'm not going to be able to get in one run. So I decided to not really. I don't know what they're doing in the kitchen. 
but um, I decided not to go after those. I think I'm done collecting clothes, and I'll just stick with what I'm doing, which is finishing up this game. I think we got like two more chapters, and then we're done. Uh, I know I'm near the home stretch of this game, and I really want to get this finished so I can work my other projects. Um, as much as I love Kamidori, I know it's going to be sad for me to see this game go. Uh, I will have a review of this game after I finish. Uh, it'll be my first review on my channel, which is going to be the weird part. Um, uh, I'm going to be really new, I'm going to be honest here. Uh, I'm not too good at explaining stuff that well, so I'm just going to ask y'all, like, please calm down if I get something wrong or I slip up. I mean, we're all human here, and I'm not all that good at explaining stuff from the, from the get-go, so that, and that's all I had to say here, but um, let's go talk to Melody Anna. Melody Anna said that she has something important to discuss with me and make some, to make some time for it. I nod when she comes to me with a serious look in her eyes and meekly follows the outskirts to the city. The mood between us is quiet as always. Neither of us try to think of anything to talk about as we walk. We just, we both just stay silent. It would be simple to ask if there, what is so important that she needs to discuss it with me. But the, ent the entire way out here, Meldiana has said little as possible. I'm curious of what she wants to talk about, but patiently wait for her to begin. Yes. What? She says it like it was it means nothing, but I'm I'm not sure how to respond. Why is it suddenly ending now? Okay, I'm still trying to think, is this a good thing that I fail because I didn't make anti-angel weapons? Meaning that Meldia and the other angels have all approved me now. Uh, this should be a meaning to celebrate, but why don't I feel happiness at all? Then, if Yuidora goes into the wrong direction... Meldiana's expression relaxes as if to reassure me. I finally realize why I can't be happy about this. If the trial's finished, then what are you going to do? Her answer is simple and clear, and I don't want to have to say goodbye to her. Because, um, look at this, I've wasted way too much time getting her weapons, I'm not letting her go now. But what about her? Is she choosing to return to her duty? If she is, then I don't think I could stop her. Her responsibility and her dedication are some of the main reasons why I come to care much about her. Meldiana refastens her armor and then begins walking back to Eudora. I nod quietly and follow her after her. No, how do I put it? Thinking about not getting to see someone I spent all this time with makes me a little lonely. Uh, I snapped my mouth shut immediately, and I shouldn't have said that. Dude, okay, that's this is where a kid gets weird, because you're already on the Seraphie route, and you're pretty much dating and about to marry her, but you're flirting with all the other women. I wish that would be more of an option than kind of forced if you hang out with them. Sorry, please forget what I said. Meldiana looks at me in surprise, and then slowly closes her eyes. Okay, let's head home. I got work to finish. I say that as brightly as I can and cover my stupidity and begin walking again. There isn't a single word said between us all the way back to the workshop. For the first time, the silence between Meldiana and I feel uncomfortable. 
So Meldeon is going to be leaving us. Okay, that's freaking okay. So that's a thing. Uh, let's talk to Roxmana. Lately, Roxmana is looking even even more despotent than usual. I want to, I want to talk to her about it, but she never says anything. Whenever I ask, she always says that she's fine, but I can't ignore this any longer. I quietly walk up to her and pat her on the shoulder. Roxmana groans and weakly, weakly and shudders. Hey, Roxmana. She convul she convulges in pain and collapses on the ground with a cry of agony. I stand completely still in shock and for the movement by lifting her arm lifting her in my arms, and her breathing is ragged and weak. Roxmana, what's the matter? Okay, this is gonna be weird. It's not it's not nothing. How can you feel how can you st uh, still say that? She stubbornly insists, insists as she wrecks her with pain again. Her body is becoming transparent too. Is she dying? My frustration with her takes over as I hug her tight. You should have said something. I told you I wanted you to live. And you're going to disappear without saying a word? Roxmana! Why not? I don't understand anything right now. Please tell me. She begin she's still being stubborn. Sweat drips down from her pale cheeks and I look into her eyes and try to be plead with her to tell me. Why didn't you tell me sooner? I told you to tell me if you needed anything. Dude, okay, I play a lot of RPGs. Killing monsters has not been a bit big issue. Her words hit me like lightning bolt and stopped my heart. She was doing it for me. She was enduring all this time because she was thinking about me. You idiot. Baka. Baka cha. Nai. Iyagaru koto wa. I don't know if it's a coffee or this game, but my hands are shaking right now. That's why you're an idiot. Saying that you were thinking of me more than your own life? How was I supposed to answer that? Everything in my head is, a complete ca is in complete chaos. It's worse than trying to console a child's irrational anger. I can't hold down all the conflicting feelings inside of me, but the sadness of her overwhelms them all. Can I, can't I help you? Is there anything I can do? I want to help you. I don't want you to die. Yes. I would detest it completely. I answer her without a shred of doubt in my body. Roxmana swallows and looks away from me. And then the silence between us begin. Her breathing calms, slightly becoming less ragged, and she looks straight into my eyes. What? Please, please tell me I'm reading this right. Okay, okay, I'm not going crazy. She says it completely fa flatly. Okay, I'm going to need more coffee for this one. Her breathing is quiet and calm now, but the sweat is still pouring on her face. I wipe it off her cheeks and still the feelings inside of me. I want to help you. Please let me. Oh, god dang it. Then come. Yep. And. Yep. Okay, so guys. Um, I'm going to cut this part off, and I will see you guys right after this is over, because YouTube, like I said, and there we go. And hey there, guys, and we're back. Sorry about that. For anybody who doesn't know Kamidori already, I had to edit a lot of that out, because, um, two things. One, it was a hentai scene. Two, um, unless you follow me on Twitch, which... 
Uh, don't follow me on Twitch right now, but I mean in the later future. Uh, maybe after Christmas or so when I get a new computer. Um, I will have more of this up, and I'll stream it on Twitch, and y'all can see the full footage instead of me just skipping everything. <coughs> but that's, that's about it. I had to skip a hint, I think. My thoughts faint as I succumb to my overwhelming exhaustion. The last thing I remember before sleep is takes over and Rexmana's mouth and, ha and a happy smile. Rexmana joins the party. Okay, so we have her in our party now. Freaking sweet. So, she's now a party member, and what level is she? Yeah, she's the same level as us, so... That could work, actually. Um, this is actually good for us. Interdimensional, she fight and teleport mixed together. This is actually pretty good. Uh, I was expecting something a little worse, but I guess I can give her a Dead Beats Ring. And uh, I'll make her some other stuff later. So now she's joined the party, so we have no more guest characters. And yeah, that was a thing. I'm trying to see if these swords are stronger, stronger than what she already has. Okay, this one has. This one gives her more strength and increases her evade. And we're gonna stick with this. This is better for evasion and gives her disruptor, but uh, I don't know. Um, what are we gonna do? Oh yeah. So guys, yeah, I had to skip that because YouTube would have had me by my uh, throat if I had uploaded, uploaded all that without any type of censorship. Um, Something else I was trying to do, wasn't it? Um, oh yeah, I was trying to see if she actually has a different weapon, or do I have to make more for her? Okay. Reaper is normal weapon. Okay, so I need to make her some stuff. Recipes. And then... Beats, uh, Beats Talon and Ubin Snipe. Okay, so I need a Werewolf Claw, so... I can make some new stuff, which is... Okay. Uh, I need to make some other stuff. Like I said before, I'm not doing the other quest because that takes way too long and way too boring to do. So maybe off not off camera, um uh, maybe in the later future if I ever come back to this game after I finish it, um, I'll do a all quest run. But until then, uh, I'm not doing that um all that over again. I'm just gonna make as much stuff as I can I can physically physically make. Um, I know it's gonna be like ramen lane ignoring a lot of the quests, because a lot of the quests are stupid. So most of the quests are gonna force you to do a lot of crap you don't wanna do. Okay, so we got her set up. Um, we need to actually cut some stuff off of um for uh Ocarina, actually. Get her burrow. I think we're good, actually. Uh, for anybody wondering why I'm not using uh, Kurene or Uya for right now, um, I'm having them watch the shop because I don't feel like doing that. Oh yeah, that's another thing. I kind of wish that the game developers, no offense, uh, could have added a second uh, accessory slot for those who have different outfits because I feel like that's kind of, I know it's different clothing, but I kind of wish there was two accessory slots and then one clothing slot. That way they have the same type of power as the other party members who can't have other outfits. I don't know, that's just me. But, um, but hey, um, what we're going to do, we're going to try some more of these events. Uh, we're not doing Meldiana because I think I know what's going to happen next time we hang out with her. I'm up late working at the forge when Kohakura finally comes home, completely drunk. You drink all day, you drink all day, all day long every day. You reek of alcohol. This 
No, thank you. I shouldn't have anything at, at all right now. Glockhorn sits down nearby, slowly sipping, sipping out of a jug in her hand. For a while after that, neither of us say anything. The only sounds are of me polishing my tools and Glockhorn refilling and emptying her cup. Hmm. Uh, don't just suddenly demand things, although I guess that is just like usual too. Something to talk about, something to talk about. And how about that Kudenka? Uh oh. Why was his head in shrine and why does it possess me? I couldn't really learn anything back then, I'd like to know more. I'm ready for her to get angry again and she looks up at me with her drink seemingly not caring at all. まずは生首について話すとするか。ある時思って空天候は自身の体を5つに分断した。Head, chest, arm, legs, abdomen. What? Abdomen? Wouldn't the abdomen be like... So they cut off the chest area, then the abdomen... Then... Wow. これらは分断されてもなお息づき。and each of them are still alive. I have, no I have no idea how, but just the fact that he still lives split up like that just shows how, how far beyond the, this world a Kutenko is. Thinking of something like that, so, thinking of something like that possessed me and makes me shudder. And the real reason? Lady, just how old are you? That reminds me, when the Kutenko possessed me, he called himself that. And he it dimly filled, oh, filled away in the back of my mind, but I can't help but wonder how she's his wife. How she's his wife. I'm not sure if I'm okay to ask, but... Why did you oppose your husband having his body divided like that? Or why didn't you? Uh, my question is, if you have a husband, why did you sleep with Will? Kutenko,となり,絶大な力を手に入れたのは確かに素晴らしきことだが。I see. I understand what she means, but from a human standpoint, I don't think I can ever accept that. However, she's completely pragmatic about it. I shouldn't say anything about it. Uh, am, I, am I really that easy to understand? つらに感情が滲み出ておるのや。成長したと思って折ったのだが、とはいえ、それがわらわの心をくすぐるうい部分でもある。ゆえに、もう行くばっかは。<笑> <ゆえに>。<笑> <もう行くばっかは? I feel like I should be more offended by that. Okay, so that's the thing. So let's uh, talk to Meldiana. The sun fades from the sky and the moon appears to take its place. The active city slowly drifts into sleep under the deep night sky as well. The cons constant sounds disappear until a few, few, few uh, blah 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 blah. Until just a few remain, the only so the sounds of nature fill the air. Will was already asleep, but somebody remains in the backyard after finishing their work. The backyard is quiet all the. It, uh, the backyard in this quiet time of night is the perfect place to reflect on one's thoughts. <laughs> No, how do I put it? Thinking about not being able to see someone I spent all this time with, it'll be a little, it's a little lonely. Mata. 
As the wind blows through her hair, the, what Will said echoes in her mind. After telling Will that his trial was ending, she was leaving, those words kept haunting her. Since his trial began, she's never left his side. But why does she not want to go? Why did she not tell Will that his trial was ending as soon as she knew? She simply had to tell him. Why did she invite him out of the city for what? Will should, Will should have been happy to know that the angels of the church approved of him. I want him to be happy. The words stop her. It draws, it draws her in and then leads her to answer that she seeks. Her own feelings, her yearning for Will. I hope you realize that Will slept with pretty much everybody else, right? Until now, she's always been faithfully abided by her duty and done exactly what was demanded of her. He has destroyed that part of her. Always believe, never doubt. Attain a clear future that you seek. The, the unwavering faith has always guided her life. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the next event is going to be literally what I think it is, and I don't think we need to actually go through with that because uh, that's going to cause a really big issue and then I cut that part of the video out. So. YOLO, motherfucker. Hmm. I finish my work and am waiting in my room, gloomy grimace. Gloomily. Gloomily grimacing. Uh. Glancing. Oh my god, I said grimacing. It's supposed to be glancing. Glancing at the door every now and then. At any moment, it's going to open and Melodiana walks in. She asks me to wait in my room at night for her to come. Melodiana, this. Yoroshii desho ka? To tell me that my trial is officially ended. I nod, nod for her to walk in and trying to smile like always. She looks into my eyes. And then she smiles for some reason. すでに一つ目の要件はお伝えしてありますから。前置きは省いて本題に入りましょう。ウィルフレド・ディオン。あなたの監査は本日でもって終了となりました。え、いつかずばっかり7チャプターズとドゥザ。いや、thank Speaking of that, how, how many rooms does this place have? Because we have Kohakarin, Uya, Suina, Meldiana, me. Uh, we got those five living there. I don't know if Sarah Wee's living there. Uh, then we've also got Aunt, Krail, and Crane. Then we've got giant freaking monster living in my yard. And then we've got freaking uh, Sharty. How many rooms does this place have? Do they all just like sleep in one room in my home? You're gonna keep living here? I'm shocked at her question. She nods curtly. I won't have to say goodbye to her. All the depression and anxiety turns into joy. You said before that you had to go back since your duty was done. <laughs> すべて他の天使に引き継いでもらいました。なんでやな。追い出されたわけではありません。必ず帰ってくるのを条件に承認されたことからです。She gently blocks my suspicion before I voice them. I can't stay calm. It can't just be this simple. Though race, thoughts race through my mind and chaotically as I try to grasp the situ grasp the situation. Is that everything? I'm not gonna. I'm not sure I understand. So can I ask one thing? You're going to keep staying with me, right? In other words, she wants to be with. She wants to be with me more than her fellow angels. My heart jumps at the at that thought, and I immediately feel bad about it. She spent a long time watching over the church with them, and I drew drew her away. Once you make your decision, 
face it with all your heart. Once you're... You've always been here to help me. Thank you. Those simple words were not enough to convey all the gratitude that I feel towards her. I can't think of anything I could possibly do with you to repay her for what she's done for me. Meldiana. Meliana confesses to me with a crimson blush coloring her face, her cheeks. Meliana, I reach through her shimmering blonde hair to her cheeks and then guide her left to mine. Okay, I know where this is heading. Uh, lift up, but that's all. She said before she remains in my mind. We stare into each other's eyes, breathing heavily, and our lips come together again and remain against each other. I put my hand on her, on her waist and gently leave. Diana has awakened to a new power. Um, she now is in love with Will. We did. Apparently we've done all of her events, so I think we're done with Meldiana. Uh, so all that's left right now is Kohaku and Uya, but I will save that for another episode, guys. Um, like, favorite, subscribe if you want. Well, no, you know what, actually, scratch that. Um, you know, because of how long I had to keep cutting those parts out, which was like two hentai scenes in one episode, tell me. Um, I'll keep going on for a little while longer, but then after that, uh, I'll call that an episode. Let's go over here for a minute. I walk through Eudora early in the morning, and my eyes dawn through the Fenla Mountains where Gapto lives. There's a lot of distance between us, so I can't go- I, ju I can't just go and see him whenever I want. Even despite how much trouble it is, I try to go see him as, as often as I can so I can learn the wisdom of the dragons. I wish to learn the power of the Dragon Balls. You're here again. Do you not have your own responsibilities? There's still a lot I want to ask you. Sorry, but will you let me? Gapto remain, uh, remains gruff as always and snorts at me. However, I think it's interesting that such a regal dragon like him even, is even talking to me. I know enough about him to understand, uh, understand that this is his way of greeting me. I'd like you to tell me about the drag how the dragons fly today. Is that alright? Ask a better question. Then how about you fly how do you fly so high and so fast? Because of our wings, obviously. We were able to ride your back before, but we weren't we weren't blown off of you. No matter how you think about it, we shouldn't have been able to hold on even if uh if there wasn't something else. Clever as usual, boy. I'll answer, I'll answer you then. You did not fall off because I created a magical field around me. This magical field, is it something like a barrier? Correct, but also not. A magical field, it is a magical field unique to the dragons. Creating a barrier so, so, like that so quickly and accurately is magic too difficult for any but dragons. Uh, does, does this field that kept us from falling off also have a defense, defensive capabilities? When your hunters came to the Fenma and attacked me all at once, the field is what was protecting me. So it got a lot of uses too. It got, oh, never mind. Okay. Uh, it does sound like something only dragons could use. Perhaps you humans might be able to mimic it. R really? If a human were to release their spirit's strength all at all the same time, their body would develop with it. I think that's impossible after all. If you say so. He shrugs like he pretended not not to know and narrows his eyes at me. Would do you want to ride me again? Huh? Perhaps experiencing it again would allow you to learn something. Continue consider it if you desire. His sudden offer makes me weary. He's testing me. He's never this easygoing. 
being able to ride on a dragon just like a mystic knight is is a once in a lifetime experience that one time is special if I'm not satisfied with just that I don't think I deserve any more hmm that is a worthy answer I can't I can't let my guard down around you we've talked for a, we've talked a lot now and almost every time we do he tests me in some way if I hadn't have fail at one of his questions, I think he would have cut off all contact with me immediately. You know, it's really bad for my heart. You think more carefully because, uh, careful now of what you say, you should be thankful. I'm terrified of what might happen if I stop paying attention for even a second. I'm thankful, but my heart can't take it. I scratch my head, my head awkwardly and I try to joke with him. He speaks quietly. Then as my apology, I will grant your wish. Huh? You doubt, you doubt me? No, but this offer has no test or ulterior, alter, ulterior meaning. Therefore, refusing it is the same as insulting me. The tone of his voice is completely serious, and there's no doubt that his proposal is sincere. He's been carefully watching and thinking about me and you Dora the whole time, while continuing to test me. And your answer? If there's a time that comes, I will truly need a dragon's assistance, and then only then will I ask for your help. Hmm. Your answer is wise and unflinching. You're not just a normal human boy. Very well, Wilford Dion. In accomplice with your wish, I shall assist you. The Thunder Dragon Gapdol will help me. I stand up straight and look right into his eyes. You have my thanks, Aptil. Thank you for everything you've done and will do for me. If you drop the, if you will drop, uh, if you will drop this modesty and restraint, then I will reward you by letting you ride me if needed. I can't thank him enough for promising that activities will begin helping me. I hold down my excitement as best as I can and enjoy talking with him through the afternoon. Gat- oh my god, Gat Till joined the party. Research on the wind element has advanced, holy crap. Huh? Frog Queen Robe Recipe Registered. Frog Queen? Okay, something's going on here. Hey, don't push. One day, my store is suddenly flooded with customers. They're all pushing and shoving each other to get the counter. Everyone seems to want medicine. What's going on? When I speak, when I peek out the workshop, some of them notice and rush over to me. Okay, so I have a feeling this has to do with Disaphronia's infection problem. I was here first. I've been waiting since this morning. I had to spend my whole day searching for your store. Give it to me first. Whoa, whoa, don't push. Uh, uh, I find it finally let up. Just what's going on? Once the chaos in the store finally settles down, I retract, uh, retreat to my back to my workshop to recover. Apparently, there are people who heard that I make me I can make medicine and they all flood my store. I had to scramble and make enough for them. My store is a complete mess right now. We, we, though, right now though, and I need to close early. There are a lot, there are still customers coming by looking for medicine though, and some have gathered in front of my closed door right now. Uh, it's the same medicine I made for Quena before. Yeah, I have a bad feeling about this. I heard a rumor that there was a plague going through the Zef Ritol, and that's why there are fewer alchemists, not alchemists, fewer merchants coming. Yeah, you're telling me. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Given the circumstances, I think I should release the recipe for the public. Dude, okay, I'm not gonna end up getting... If there was really a plague going through Eudora, there's no way I can make enough for everybody by myself. 
Any, if, if any alchemist can make it, then there won't be any chance of a riot breaking out like what almost happened today. Well, I hope we're just worrying for nothing. I should check around the city and find out what's really going on. <sighs> Fuck that. Holy crap baskets. Um... Okay. I've become friends with a lot of different races, and thanks to their help, I've learned a lot. Thanks to that, I'm able to invent new things. New re receive help from many companions. New equipment is now available to synthesize. Harmonic tuning is now registered. Okay, trying to see what some of this stuff is. Uh, got the wing bracelet that allows me to fly. Wait, okay, there's something else. Uh, the Hawkeye. Hot. I can give that to actually. I can give that to either. Uh, Sarawi or Crail, which will actually help them out pretty much, increasing their hit points. Uh, I'm making quite a lot of stuff in this episode, aren't I? Um, I know it's gonna sound weird, but I'm actually kind of happy about this. The story is really picking up. And yeah, yeah, before someone goes like, Ramen, why aren't you making more videos based on other games? Because I'm almost done with this game and I want to finish it before, like, Christmas comes around and I switch computers and I have no more files of this game. Any new weapons? Sweet! Uh, y'all gotta... Oh my god, I cannot read it because that text. Yata Gorasu. Nice. I just need a demon claw. And be with you tight, which I'm gonna make now, so I can make that later. Oh, but that does use up a lot of my... It uses up my, uh, Remistone. I'll make one more, which is all I can make. And... Let's see. No new accessories. And we got the frog tunic. And... This. Oh my god. This is gonna be annoying. Uh, electric skin. I can actually make that if I go to the, um... I can go back to the other usual grounds and I can get more of that. Uh, no new furniture, no new that. So, yeah, I can actually make this now. So I'm guessing we unlock all the areas for Kamidori, I don't really know. And we got Deadbeat God. Um, I was told that Deadbeat God is the final dungeon for uh, for the Deadbeat for the Deadbeat dungeon, and once you beat it, it disappears. Um, apparently, um, I was told that once you defeat the Deadbeat God, you pretty much lose all access to the Deadbeat dungeon, and that is pretty much the easiest way to level grind. So, yeah, I'll do that off camera. So. Uh, I guess I should save the game and I'll take a little bit of a break, probably uh, grind my butt, grind my butt off. But um, all I gotta say is like, favorite, subscribe if you enjoyed this video and join the Ramen Army. I'm the Ramen King, signing off for another time, another place, another year. Until next time, guys. I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I'm making.